Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Maddie Collins and in today's video we're going to be checking out two types of lenses. We're going to be checking out prime lenses on the Canon RP and then we're also going to be checking out a Sigma zoom lens on the a7 IV. This is my beautiful model today. Her name is Leslie. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. I'm going to be starting with the Canon RP camera and the 35mm 1.8 prime lens. So we're going to be seeing what kind of depth of field we can get with this 1.8 aperture. So we found a pretty cool spot right here with the doorway as you can see. And we're going to try with the 35mm and then also the 50mm prime. Make sure to like and help Maddie's channel if you like his channel. <laughs> Okay, so now we are at the second location with Leslie, and the sun is coming really nicely from this direction. So, no worries. <laughs> so, we're gonna get some shots here. Again, we're gonna start with the 35 millimeter and 50 millimeter prime, and then we're gonna be switching to the Sony a7 IV with the Sigma 24 to 70 f 2.8. Ni <laughs> And we're back. Bit. Oh yeah, that doesn't surprise me anymore. <laughs> okay, don't move. You can relax though. I'm gonna switch lenses. All right, so we just finished with Leslie at the second location. Sorry, a bug just flew on me. And we were shooting with the primes first, so the 50 millimeter is performing really well. It is a 1.4, so we get a lot of background separation, which is nice. Um, when we were shooting on the 35 mil, uh, the autofocus was a little bit better because of the RF, but the main thing about primes that you guys need to know is that if you want background separation, um, it's gonna be unmatched when you're shooting on prime lenses. So I highly recommend if depth of field and bokeh is really important to you then definitely shoot on prime lenses now when I'm shooting on the 24 to 70 Sigma it's working extremely well for me specifically in autofocus and things like that but in zoom lenses like when I'm shooting on the 24 to 70 on this a7 IV right now I'm limited to how low my aperture can go so it's at an f 2.8 this is a constant f 2.8 but a lot of zoom lenses are f 4 and you're not going to be able to shoot in low light so this is a con when it comes to zoom lenses and again you just can't drop that aperture and have that background separation which is really nice as is on prime lenses a really annoying thing for me on these prime lenses right now is that I constantly have to switch from um, the RP body I have to switch off the 50 mil to 35 mil I already lost the lens cap so that's super annoying and you can get dust on the sensor and on the back of the lenses and things like that so that's kind of annoying and I highly recommend if you're just choosing one lens to choose the zoom I have the 24 to 70 it's a pretty good range so anyways uh, that's my take on primes versus zooms so we are losing Sun a little bit but Leslie and I are gonna try and find a third location uh, to shoot and see if we can catch the last little bit of the Sun and then we're gonna wrap it up for you guys and that'll be it for today's video so here we are at the final spot I'm gonna be checking out the 35 millimeter and 50 millimeter first and then we're gonna jump into the Sigma 24 to 70 on the a7 IV and then we're gonna wrap up this video so uh, Leslie Leslie is in position and there is a beautiful moon behind her uh, as well as some plants and buildings so let's see if we can make this look nice I 
right guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My hope in today's video is that you guys figured out whether you should be picking up a zoom lens or prime lenses. So if you're just starting out, I highly recommend picking up a zoom lens and try and err on the side of an f2.8 lens instead of an f4 lens. It will cost you a little bit more money out of the gate, but I highly recommend doing that. And also, if you guys are going to be picking up primes, um, I highly recommend that once you've figured out the focal length that you desire, then you should be looking at prime lenses and the reason for this is that you're better off in low light conditions much like indoor situations if you're shooting events and things like that so anyways if you're just starting out zoom lenses and if you kind of know the focal lengths that you like shooting in definitely go with primes that about wraps up the video for today thank you so much for stopping by the channel and one more time let's say goodbye to Leslie Leslie come on in We'll see you in the next adventure. Bye for now. Bye.